The following report contains some graphic images. <laughs> Just before dawn, something terrible has happened in a Damascus suburb. It has all the signs of a massive chemical attack. Decontaminating with hose pipes, they bring in victim after victim. They're gasping for breath with pinpointed pupils. Some have convulsions. There are no signs of wounds. Experts say these are symptoms of nerve agent poisoning. In the hospital, it's chaos in the rush to help survivors. There are other pictures too shocking to show. Outside, more victims arrive. Some are children. People are treated on the pavement. Inside the makeshift clinic, on this one table alone, medics work on four children. Here they implore a baby to respond. This child, he says, what did he do to be shelled by this material? What did he do? What happened confirms the clear failure of the United Nations and all those who claimed humanity towards the Syrian cause. As more pictures emerged of the apparent atrocity, Britain's foreign secretary was one of the first to call for an investigation. Damascus was quick to deny it was responsible. If verified, this would be a shocking escalation of the use of chemical weapons in Syria. Uh, we are determined the people responsible will one day be held to account. Uh, I hope it will be made clear that the UN team now in Damascus will have unrestricted access to the area concerned and the United Kingdom will be raising this at the United Nations Security Council. <laughs> While the general command of the army and the armed forces would like to stress that these allegations are totally false and baseless and that such claims fall within the context of the dirty media war against Syria, the general command would like to stress that it will go ahead with confronting terrorism. We sought advice from an expert, the former commander of Britain's chemical defense regiment. There do appear to be a lot of dead people with no outward wounds uh, uh, and blood, that they've died from something. Um, some of the symptoms, uh, like the, the, the open mouth, almost a statuex desk, death stares, are very similar to what we saw in Halabja, where thousands of people were killed um, by nerve agents. UN chemical weapons inspectors are currently in Syria, but they don't have government permission to visit this latest site and may not get it. So despite the scale of this tragedy, it's unclear if those responsible will ever face justice. Frank Gardner, BBC News.